Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good morning from wherever you're watching me from. I still remain your favorite architect, Architect D. I want to say welcome to each and every one of you, our new subscribers. I want to say thank you for so far so good for all the comments, for all the subscriptions. For all the subscribing for everything so without wasting much of our time I'm going to be talking about um, block molding and buying of block I'm going to talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of the boats um, first of all I'm going to start with buying of blocks buying of the blocks is um, is wonderful if you want your project if you have already planned your project uh, like take um, maybe two months you don't want to take time in buying um, molding blocks if you want a fast project if you want projects without delays you can buy your blocks and the advantage of buying blocks is one you are not the one that molded it so you know all this molding or this block industry they used to mold um 50 for one bag but if you are molding your own block you can mold lesser so because of this the the aggregate and the um the cement concentration tend to reduce that by causing it causing breakages in your blocks so if you are buying block Go for a, a reputable um, block molding company. In fact, by looking at the block, you can know, or maybe you can transport 100 blocks to your site. If maybe two or three or four or five breaks, then you know your fate. But just looking at it or consulting somebody who knows about blocks can help you. So if you buy from a reputable company, there are reputable companies that can give you awesome blocks without breakages and it makes your it makes your project um, faster if you are molding your blocks you can decide to mold one bag you can get 25 you can get 30 and it's more solid than buying your blocks but one of the disadvantages that is in buying your blocks in molding your blocks sorry is that um it will delay your project if you are molding and building but you can decide to mold everything before you start but one thing one of the stress that is in molding your block is you have to make logistics available you have to make um, sand available make um, cement available you have to um, um, put somebody in charge to monitor the molding and after the molding, you have to consult somebody that will mold the block even. After the molding, you have to pack the blocks. So some people don't want the stress. Some people don't want the stress. They just go ahead and buy their blocks. But if it's for me, molding of blocks is wonderful. If you are starting your project by November, if you are starting your project by December, if you are starting your project by October, you can mold your blocks but if you are starting your project as soon as possible buy your blocks there are awesome blocks in companies that can give you standard blocks without breakages it reduces the stress of calling um tipper man for sand it reduces the stress of call going to the market to buy cement it reduces the stress of looking for workers for molders that will still come today and not come tomorrow it reduces the stress of you looking for somebody that will still go and pack the, the, the blocks for you. So I will encourage you if you want to build and if you want the project to be faster, buy your blocks. But if you are not in a haste of your structure, you want your structure, you want to do your structure in the next um, um, one year, you can start now to mold. If your estimate is 10,000 blocks, if your estimate is 5,000 blocks, you can start now to start molding your blocks. Either ways, they are fine. Some people will say, 
I don't I don't want to buy blocks. I don't want to buy blocks. All these companies they don't some people bought their blocks throughout and it's still a solid house. The blocks have a minor of 40 to 50 percent rule in your structure. Then the structural arrangement and reinforcements, the columns and the bars in your house plays almost 60 percent in the structure and the durability of your house. That doesn't mean you go and buy fake blocks, um, um, blocks that are not um, strong. But I'm going to tell you that your structure doesn't lie on how strong your block is. It lies on how solid your columns and your reinforcements and your placement and bars is. So if you want to buy blocks to start your projects, buy blocks and start your projects. If you want to mold blocks to start your projects, mold blocks and start your projects. Either ways, you will still arrive at the same destination. So thank you so much for listening. For those that have been asking, asking me about this, I think this is a clarification that either ways, if you want your projects without stress, buy your blocks. If you want to mold your blocks because you want quality of blocks, go ahead and mold your blocks. But either ways, we are arriving at the same destination of completing your house. So do you. Do whatever you want to do. And um, I believe that by this year, you all own your own house and finish your own project. So thank you so much. I still remain architect GD and um, I have not been online in your face for some time now. I've been locating to my new apartment and I've done that and um, we'll be doing more content, we'll be doing more um, presentations, we'll be going to more sites and doing more projects for people. If you need any of our services, I'll be dropping my numbers below and if you need any inquiry, don't hesitate to call me. Don't hesitate to shut me up on my WhatsApp line. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. We are going to do more this year. Thank you and God bless.